With this tutorial I'm going to go over how to place static objects on ships using the DCS editor. As you may have seen in some of my previous missions this is a great way to make the deck look much more alive. So start by placing your ship, giving it a waypoint or two, I'm going to use the Stennis, I'm going to name this unit for easier reference later, I'm going to call it Stennis. Go to static objects, pick out the aircraft and objects you want to place, in this case I'll use the Tomcat, I'm going to give it a different skin. Zoom in on your carrier. At this point, this is where things fall over a bit. The uh, system is still in development, sadly. It should look rather like this image here. As you can see, we can see the deck of the ship and the aircraft that we're placing. This would be available via pressing the satellite image button. However, at the moment it does not appear to be available, so we'll have to guess where to place the aircraft. So, we've got a static object. We're going to place it. We're then going to set the rotation, we've got the skin already. Make sure object fixation is ticked. We link it to the Stennis. Place it. If off offset fixation is not ticked, the aircraft will default to the origin of the object it is parented to, as you can see there, and you will not be able to move it. So make sure this is ticked if you don't want it on the centre. So I'm going to move it to about here we're going to guess. I'm going to press Ctrl C, Ctrl V to copy and paste it. I'm going to change this aircraft out to a E2 Hawkeye. I'll put that at the back somewhere, rotate it, make sure it's still linked. Create another static object, this time a helicopter. Helicopters and we're going to pick out the Seahawk, place that in the middle, rotate him, offset fixation on, Stennis. And now I'm going to press the fly mission button to have a look at what we've got. There you can see our aircraft on deck. They will move with the ship, they will remain there. AI aircraft will taxi and park and land straight through these, these are incorporeal to the AI aircraft, so don't worry about them colliding. Player aircraft however can crash into these objects. So like I said this is a work in progress feature. Once we get the image in the editor it will be a much easier job to align these where we want them. In the meantime you will have to place them at your best guess and just trial and error. Place them, load the mission, place them load the mission, rearrange them, load the mission, and so on until you get it how you want. With a bit of luck this feature will be added soon, but I couldn't say when. So if you really do want to get that deck populated, I'm afraid you will have to just deal with that problem. So with that I'm going to give a few examples of ship setups with static objects. It is worth noting that most ships can in fact be customised, including the destroyers with helipads. Some objects may or may not appear on the deck depending on whether they are supported. For example, the fire effect will appear but it will not be attached to the ship even if you do link it. If an object does not appear it's possible you've put the object too far away from the ship or it is floating along the waterline instead next to the ship. And with a bit of luck we'll have the satellite images available soon.